and your effort, and you make sure our high school events are special for all of us. Uh, you're the best teacher in the world. It's very cliche of us, but sometimes you just can't deny the truth. Right? Uh, the biggest inspiration to all of us, and we can all agree. who taught us lessons in class and outside of class, and you always lend an air to people who needed someone to talk to. And that saved like a whole bunch of heartache and stuff. So. There's, there's just so many things that I'm gonna miss about Miss Hoakley. I just wanna make sure that she's not around right now because we're doing this uh, secretly. But um, I'm gonna miss how much of a motherly figure Miss Hoakley was and how she holds everything down. She held it down. Yeah. yeah. She's a wonderful person, you know? Like, she helped us out a lot. Like, the four years that we were here, like, without her, like, we would pretty much, like... Still be freshmen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she's very giving. She's very giving. A very good teacher. She's always been there for us. We love you, Miss Hoakley. Hi, Miss Hoakley. We want to thank you for always being there for us and providing us with advice. You've made our high school experience the most memorable time of our life. You've done more than enough. And we appreciate everything you've done. So we just want to say we love you, Mama Hokley. We, we love, love you, Mama. <laughs> All right, so I remember about Mr. Hokley is probably um, living environment class in freshman year with Chris Garcia. Like he would come in every morning with a different story, and like she used to get so pissed off. I used to just die laughing. Also, just all the times around the school like she's the hardest woman to find but the woman that you need the most all the time. What I remember about Miss Hoagley is living environment also and she always used to be there for me. I always used to talk to her whenever I needed someone to talk to and she's always there and I really appreciate that from her and she really is the hard, most hardworking woman in this this whole building I would say for all of us because she she does so much. She plans all the events and everything and I, I just really appreciate it and I really miss her and, and having her there. Remember all the things she did for us, like especially with all the events. If it wasn't for her, Austin Fest and Talent Show and all these other activities would never exist probably. Or no one would ever want to do them. So I guess I'm really, really thankful for, for, for all the opportunities she's given all of us. Thank you, Mr. Oakley. Miss, come here. <laughs> it's been amazing. It's been fun. Thank you for everything. You are the most amazing woman this school has ever encountered. So we will miss you quite, quite. Say bye. Hey again. <laughs> See you later. Mr. So Hoakley, I'm going to miss you a lot. And by a lot, I mean a lot. You did so much for our school, not only for me, towards the end of the year. Um, yeah, you, you're like a mother to all of us. You did everything great, more than perfect, near perfect, whatever you want to say. I just want to say thank you about everything. Hey, Mr. Hoakley, just wanted to let you know that you'll greatly be missed. You've done a wonderful job in these past few years. You've worked really hard, and we all really appreciate it. Um, me personally, I just wanted to thank you for all the advice and things you've done for me. I love you, Mr. Hoakley. Thank you. Leaving Mr. Hoakley would be like leaving your mom. She's such a maternal figure to all of us. She never like shows favoritism. She's always trying to help somebody out. And, you know, it's very hard to find somebody who's that selfless and that kind and that genuine. I love her very much. Bye, Ms. Hoakley. Mr. Hoakley. Mr. Hoakley, this is my heart. We can never be apart because you will always have the key. That's why I love you, Mr. Hoakley. Hey! Okay, that was a good one. We love you. Love you.